The AI toothpaste isn't just out of the tube. It's going to happy hour and taking selfies with the candidates. Campaigns are using artificial intelligence to predict where voters are, what they care about, how to reach them. But also they're, they're writing fundraising emails or generating first drafts of scripts or generating first drafts of speeches. And in at least one case, uh, making up news stories that aren't true and putting them on a campaign website. So being used for good, for research, and also for some not so good. You've got a lot of uh, bad actors uh, putting up you know, fake images, uh, fake messages, fake voices. You've also got others who are doing it using their real voice, but doing it badly. You've got a Democratic presidential candidate in New Hampshire who used his voice, but it was AI generated. They assembled it through AI, which violated the, the terms of service, so those were pulled down. You had a candidate in Pennsylvania who used an AI bot to call voters, survey voters, wasn't being deceptive, wasn't pretending to be anything other than what the voice claimed to be, but it was a way to reach voters, get what voters cared about, help out the campaign, but do it in a way that you could reach far more voters far faster than you ever could with volunteers or even a paid staff. A lot of ethical concerns with AI and campaigns. The basic rule of thumb is there aren't AI ethics that are different from everybody else's ethics. You have a set of ethics. In a campaign, you should aim to persuade and inform, not deceive and divide. That's true with AI, with mail, with television, and with speeches. A lot of the questions we're asking about AI are the same questions we've asked about rhetoric and persuasion for thousands of years. Does it matter if it sounds true, if it isn't true? What is, what's the connection between persuasion, reality, uh, rhetoric, and truth? The difference now is everybody has access to the tools. They can spread much more quickly, and the stakes are much, much higher. We're going to be drowning in information in this campaign, on social media, on television, on direct mail. It's going to be a wall of noise. And if somebody does something uh, untoward, does something bad, or they're caught on video, the obvious answer then is to say, that wasn't me, that was AI generated. Don't believe that, that was AI. Even if it was in fact true, because now we don't believe anything, right? Which means, again, trust is undermined. On the other hand, that puts a greater premium on people talking to their neighbors, on good old fashioned door knocking right, on old school politics, which could be good because it's bringing us together as, as neighbors. But on the other hand, if everything can be true, everything can also be false. And it's not a recipe for success in a democratic society.